Less than 30 seconds is all it takes to steal a catalytic converter from your car, leaving you with a big headache. There's instances where people's, uh, people have had multiple catalytic converters stolen on the same vehicle, uh, and insurance isn't picking up the cost. DPD says thousands of people faced this problem last year. It's why they want the city council to pass a new ordinance they think will help reduce the number of stolen catalytic converters. So we do have instances where uh, individuals are, are stealing them and trying to make a quick buck. DPD's idea would require auto parts dealers to report to police within one business day every time they purchase a used catalytic converter. This would go beyond a new state law, which requires dealers to make records available to police only upon request. It's an organized criminal um, enterprise uh, stealing these parts uh, and, and then selling them to secondhand dealers uh, to be melted down. Police think getting this information directly will help them find the thieves and eventually discourage people from hitting more cars. They've been stolen from my yard, they've been to our, my front yard, they've been stolen from our family's restaurant in broad daylight. City council members know how frustrating this can be. I will just comment that this has happened to my wife at an RT park and ride. It is disruptive. It is expensive. Just as fast as this thief, the safety committee voted yes and sent the proposal along for another vote. In Denver, I'm Kelly Rinke, 9 News. And people are stealing catalytic converters all over this city and not just in one area, but Denver police say the airport and RTD parking rides are some of the biggest hot spots for these thefts. The most common vehicles that are hit are Hondas and Toyotas, according to police.